Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting movie review here on Sell Me Movie. This is a little segment here on Cavalier Studios' YouTube channel where what we do is we discuss movies that are either out in the theaters, on streaming, or on Blu-ray where you can rent a note. Today we will be discussing MGM and Amazon Prime's exclusive, Ricky Stenicki. Hello there, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and children. So again, if you are new to the channel, make sure that you do hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you do follow us on all social platforms as well as check out the merchandise store. Of course, that store is what assists us as well as far as uh, funding goes and everything to keep this channel alive. So again, that link is down below. Now, like I stated, we are going to go over Amazon Prime's exclusive, Ricky Stenicki. This, of course, stars John Cena, uh, Zac Efron, William H. Macy, and a comedian that you may have seen either do stand-up or on Reels or TikTok, and that is Andrew Santino. Uh, he usually does a little podcast with uh, Bobby, so you may know him from there. Now, going in, I wasn't quite entirely sure what to expect as far as from Ricky Stenicki. Um, the guy who directed the film was also one of the writers for Dumb and Dumber. He also produced, uh, I believe, The Green Book. Uh, it has um, the guy from Lord of the Rings in there. It, it, it's won the Academy Awards or Golden Globes, one of the two within like the past year or two. Um, the Green Book, that... Like I said, it's a green book. So Ricky Stenicki is honestly just a buddy comedy. You have these three friends that have lied throughout their whole entire life, which what they do is they make up an imaginary individual named Ricky Stenicki. Now, Ricky Stenicki, again, he's an imaginary. He's a made-up friend. So whenever they got in trouble as kids or as an adult or need an excuse to leave their wives or leave whatever situation may be going on, they honestly already have a pre-planned motion for uh, the reasoning behind that, and it's always about Ricky Stenicki. And that goes along the lines of either Ricky has cancer or he is doing something in somewhere in third world country. So they always have excuses for this. So then that way they can get away with whatever, whatever they want to do. Um, this movie alone is a, the moral of the story is don't lie because obviously it comes to get you at some point. Um, now, unlike real life, though, this movie obviously works out in favor of the main characters, where in real life, majority of time, almost 100 percent, actually 100 percent of the time when you lie to somebody, it always comes back to bite you. But of course, this is Hollywood and there's a good story at the end of this. Now, we do see John's John Cena's character. Um, who goes by Rod over in Atlantic City, and he is a very, um, uh, how can I put this? He he drinks a lot. Uh, he works at a kind of like a casino mixed with the Gentleman's Club a little bit, but more so in very dark, not necessarily dark humor, but vulgar humor. Uh, and then what ends up happening is Zac Efron and his friends, they go to Atlantic City, avoiding their wife's um, their wife's baby shower and stuff. So essentially, it's actually Andrew Santino, his character, JT's um, wife's baby shower. They go over to Atlantic City to see a concert, and they just stumble upon um, John Cena's character, Rod Rhymestead. Uh, this is his name in the very beginning of the film. He obviously is drunk. He is going, he, he's a low life basically. Uh, and what ends up happening is in the future, of course, JT, the, the character that's played by Andrew Santino, his wife has a kid and something happens to the point where obviously they have to create Ricky Stenicki to be a real life individual. This of course brings apart Rod, John Cena's character to come into the picture a little bit more and take on the persona of Ricky Stenicki. Now this film altogether, you're not looking so much as far as uh, cinematography, not so much storytelling, unless if it's basic storytelling. What you're going in for is a buddy comedy, and that's exactly what this film delivers on, is exactly that. Honestly, the, this type of film, I can chime it up to just being like the film that Zach Efron has done before with uh, Michael B. Jordan, as well as Miles Teller, and that is the awkward moment. There is similarities in that stance as far as the type of movie, buddy comedy type deal, um, where at the end, everybody lives a good life. So altogether, this is going to be a short review because there's not much to say about this film. Honestly, it's a film that you can watch and laugh at as far as the first time, but afterwards... I don't see myself really going and watching this movie over and over and over again. Maybe if you're introducing it to a, a friend, 
the, quite possibly, yes. Or maybe if you want to create this film to be like a something that you do a once a year type thing, you could absolutely do. But like I said, it's not something that you would go over and watch over and over again. But other than that, though, did you guys see it? Leave a comment down below. Again, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as follow us on all social platforms. And we'll see you next time for the next review.